on the front side, now that we've built the menu and the use, end user is using the, the portal, when they click on that link and say, this is the visualization I want to see, and we go to the embedded page, we're going to actually show the visualization. And that requires a second sign-on. Um, so single sign-on from the front end is usually handled uh, in a couple different ways. Um, trusted authentication is a way of programmatically calling a URL, getting a token back, and then using that token to open up the session for the end user. In order for a server to be able to do that, a portal layer to be able to do that, you have to add the IP address to a whitelist in Tableau Server. So it's a whitelist-based uh, authentication method. Um, but it is, kind of, in our experience, it's the most common one that we see in the field. Um, a lot of people, depending on whatever their technology is on the front side, if they're integrating with Salesforce or something else, um, they'll use a different version or a different technique called SAML. Um, and so SAML's good if you if in, uh, you already have the SAML system. Uh, the IDP set up and configured. If you're integrating with a system like Salesforce where they're using SAML, it makes it very simple because um, the SSO is handled automatically from Tableau server to Salesforce, and the portal layer should uh, also be able to understand what SAML is. So um, SAML, it's, it's typically used when we're seeing other third-party systems that are being mashed up or an embedding happening into something like a Salesforce. Um, and the last one is Active Directory. So Microsoft has a single sign-on and it works great if, you're, if everybody lives in the Active Directory domain. But in many instances, when you're building a portal or if you're dealing with external users, um, they're not part of your AD domain or you don't intend to put them in your AD domain. So um, while it's good for internal, we don't see it a lot with, with portal integrations. So we're going to take a look at trusted authentication. SAML is kind of a whole other topic um, on, it, on, uh, uh, on itself. But we're going to take a look at trusted authentication today and, and figure out um, take, a, take a look at the code and see how we did it for this one as well. Um, so trusted authentication, it, it, it allows you to um, have your single sign-on. It allows you to le leverage your own authentication. So whatever your portal layer authenticates that user as, you're able to break it down to just that user and then make a call through a web service to Tableau Server, and you get back the token uh, that would allow access to it. So really, it doesn't matter what your other authentication method is. You're just interfacing with it at that point uh, and moving forward. So there's two flavors. We have restricted and unrestricted. And that just basically means whether or not the user has access to the Tableau uh, server UI. So if you wanted to just force them to only see the, imbe the embedded visualization but never have the ability to jump out and see the whole toolbar, um, then you would use the, the restricted ticket. And unrestricted would allow them to have access to anything. So once the session is created, they could essentially open up another tab in their browser and go to the Tableau server interface and see everything. So the, for this one, we're, we're using a, a general restricted ticket because we only want them to see uh, the visualizations that we provided and not see the Tableau server interface. So for this demo, I'm going to jump over, back over to um, the IDE. And this one. And so we're going to go back and start in the embedding.jsp page. So this is the embedding is going to be the page where we're actually showing the visualization in the page. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do here is use this utils function again to get a trusted ticket. And a trusted ticket's just going to be a string of characters that we're going to use and put into the URL that tells Tableau Server to uh, accept this user. So inside of uh, our utils function here, our library, we have this get trusted ticket uh, function. So this is not using a helper library. So we've left this one open so you can see the difference between calling a single function like get ticket versus writing a raw interface to uh, the, the REST API on Tableau server. So here we actually are going through using an HTTP URL connection. And then we're doing a post. And we're building up this URL uh, with all of our variables, which is the server, the username, um, and the target site that we're going to use. And then from there, we're posting that data. We're adding headers, specific headers of uh, what type of uh, content this is, what the length is, and then we set these other variables and we get back, um, we're using the buffered readers uh, to get back basically an input line. And all it's going to be is just going to be a string of characters. There's no XML wrapping it, there's no parsing of JSON. So we just take that line um, and we were going to append that and send it back uh, here as our response from the string. So at the end of this URL, we're going to have a string that is a trusted ticket. And then Immediately down here, we're going to construct our URL for the visualization. And all we're doing is adding this little part here, which is trusted, sl slash trusted, slash the actual ticket name, and sending that to Tableau Server. 
So the handshake here, when we've, in the previous function, we've called Tableau Server and said, I want this user to be able to log in. And Tableau Server checks its whitelist and says, hey, I have you. You're, you're a uh, trusted uh, web server. So it sends back that ticket. And then that ticket is embedded into the URL. And so the user would have to go hit it. There's a timeout period that happens there. So the, um, and you can control that through Tab Admin. So you can control like, whether or not somebody has access to be able to actually sniff that ticket and then use it. So security vulnerabilities are very, very minor here. And you can, you can build all that additional logic into your uh, application layer. So that's a basic example of going through trusted tickets, using trusted tickets to get authenticated to the Tableau server. And at this point, the user is going to be back on this page where they've actually landed and they're viewing the visualization. So a trusted ticket just happened in the background there. And we land up here on this page uh, to view the, the visualization as expected. <laughs>